75% of the population of Kenya are young. That means below the age of 35. And the average age in Kenya is 19 years old. So even when it comes to organizing, a lot of processes, the public is to be engaged. You'll find in meetings where the public is supposed to be engaged, the most you'll find young people, maybe two people in a meeting of 60. So their representation is very low. I agree, I am a strong woman, but I also believe that I, I have a very soft heart. So anyone who does know me knows that I have a big heart. And I say that I'm a strong woman just because some of the things that I've been able to do is breaking a lot of glass ceilings, um, even from the kind of organization that I run to the kind of work that we do at my age. And so I recognize that, um, but then I wouldn't say that I don't ever have fear. I do and sometimes you get nervous and things like that but then just pushing through that so I believe that you can be a strong woman but you can also have a soft side so this program supports the youth to push for accountability to demand more from their leaders to be accountable and it's changing the way we even interact with our leaders and being able to select leaders of character to be able to represent us that's definitely a change that I hope to see. But also to encourage also young women, especially African women, to take up roles of leadership because a lot of them fear that they're not going to be marriageable. It's actually a reality um, where they feel if they're too educated or too um, ambitious, they're not going to be able to find a partner. So we still grapple with social roles that are forced on you as a woman. We push for government to provide better services to the needs of that particular community. So it can be access to drugs, it can be agriculture, because a lot of young people live in rural areas. They don't even have access to land or even seedlings or fertilizer is too expensive. So pushing these particular issues to the county government. So that's how I would say we plug in when it comes to conflict prevention because we give young people something to be able to find in terms of accountability and holding particular leaders in government accountable. I think that we have a brilliant, brilliant young population and for me it would be a big wish if we could put more resources toward youth programs and youth initiatives and to have young people in very pivotal positions of power in this country.